Good morning, family and friends. I am popping back on today to um, kind of finish up with yesterday when I canned my um, peaches. And I told you about that I went to an estate sale and then I stopped at a couple of yard sales with my husband. And I had my eye on this vintage pressure cooker. So when we went back over, um, and it's a little ways from my house, I, I looked at my husband and I said, if it's still sitting there waiting for me, then it's meant to be. But if it's not, if somebody bought it or it's gone or whatever, then okay. Well, we pull up to the driveway and we see a great big long trailer and all these boxes and everything in there. And I thought, oh shoot, um, it's gone. But then I spotted it right at the end of the table where it was yesterday. And uh, what they were doing was is that they were cleaning up. It was so hot yesterday. And where I live to have a yard sale, if you don't have some kind of a canopy or you're in a garage, it's pretty hot to have yard sales out, you know, just out in a driveway. And that's what it was. So they were packing it all up to take down and donate it to some thrift store. And that's fine. But I went over and I said, well, I came back because the lady remembered me. I said, I came back to get that pressure um, cooker. She says, well, everything's free. Whatever you see, it's free. And I looked at my husband and he just kind of grinned at me and I thought, well, that's my kind of a yard sale. If it's meant to be that it was still there, okay, then it's mine and it was free. So this is the little pressure cooker that I went back to get. Now, people would say, well, you already have two pressure cookers. I've got a 16 quart and I've got a 32 core and they're great they are they are presto pressure cookers and that's fine but this was absolutely adorable now i'm going to be restoring this little pressure cooker it has wood handles it has the gauge um here it has the weights up here and inside why i like this pressure cooker was yes it does have the little rack in here now I'm going to be taking, which I already did a little bit this morning and it was pretty easy to clean, but I kind of wanted to show you. Um, I've got some scotch bright that I use all the time on different things. I, I get them in the, they come large and I just cut them with the scissors so that they're this size for me to work with. And this is gonna clean up very nice. I also could wait until, um, a little closer to time with my husband's birthday, I'm gonna go down and get him a sandblaster. And once he puts this rack in a sandblaster, it's gonna come out just like brand new. And that's gonna be fine. On the top of my, now this one doesn't have the other rack in here, but, 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 I have, because it was free, I have another one. This is a big one. This is a Presto here, and why did I get it? One, it was free. <laughs> Two is what was inside. So inside this one, I have a brand new box of uh, the ceiling ring, which I was thrilled to get. There's also, with this pressure cooker, is the weights that come with it. It had two more bands, which is fine, and it has its little rack, which again, I'm not worried about all this rust because that's going to come right off with a sandblaster. And it has the bottom part that I could go ahead. Uh, nope, can't put that one in there. Well, I can order this online. I'm not too worried about this. And I'm probably not going to keep this pot. I will only keep the rack, maybe the rings, and what I want off of this one, this one's just really strictly for parts. What I want off of this one is this gauge right here, which husband will take off for me, and that will be great. And this is really, really heavy. I really don't know how the women did it back in the 50s. I really don't, because this one's not too bad. It's more like my 16 quart pan, that it's not that heavy and it'll be all right. And it's really not bad inside either. Um, a little uh, still, not still wool, but I, I buy these at uh, um, Freight Damage. Um, 
Freight damage, is that what I want to say? Harbor Freight, Harbor Freight, not Freight Damage. <laughs> what I'm saying, Harbor Freight. And they're the ones that are the little steel brushes. Now this is the more coarse one right here and then a finer one. And I found this morning that when I was cleaning it, I'm just gonna take this brush and go all along the side and get off just the kind of the crud and the oldness. Who knows how old this pot is if it goes back to the 1950s, which I am going to research. This one's not a Presto. This one's called a National. And it is National Pressure Cooker by um, Eclair, Wisconsin, uh, number five. And I'm going to, um, I don't trust this gauge because it has a crack right here. So again, I'm only using parts off the other one because that gauge is fine and I will be replacing this gauge. But after I get it all cleaned up, I may take a, a little oven cleaner to get, still get some of this off of here and my scotch brights. Um, these of the Mr. Cleans, they work great on top of any stainless steel, so that's great, but it's all there. I'm gonna be taking the handles off and I will be sanding them down and repainting them and varnishing them. So it's going to look brand new when I get done with it. So that part I was thrilled with. Also while I was there in the free box, I had one of these a long time ago. I had a smaller one, just about half that size but somehow it broke on me. So I found this one and I found the four glasses that match it. And I just kind of like them. I really do. Cause I'm anything vintage. So I got this and brought it home. Of course, put it in the dishwasher. Um, some Tupperware that I get, I pick up. Um, I don't like a lot of it. I did pick up this little guy. It has a little, basket that comes out and to truthfully I mean it's left my brain right now what goes in here other than you know maybe pickles that you wanted to get right quick or uh, carrot and celery um, sticks that you've already cut anyway it's a Tupperware one and if anybody knows exactly what it's for I mean I'm, I'm sure it's got a thousand and one uses but I found that and then I have a small one, but I did see this one, and so I picked it up off the table too, which is a Pyrex um, <clears throat> um, fluted pan that is uh, for cakes. Yes, you could put a small angel food cake in here or whatever, and so I picked that up. I also got, um, and you don't find these anymore, you really don't. So these used to be in everybody's oven. One of these at the very bottom, when you pulled out the drawer, you had this for grilling. And this one is a small one, which I kind of like, with a vintage little pan. It's kind of a different looking little pan, which again, I will clean all up nice, and that's going to be great. And then sitting on the hot, hot table out in the sun was this little guy, and he is gonna come in handy uh, either out on the barbecue or I may save this and put it in my camper for when I'm out uh, camping. That'll be a find. But I wanted to pop on and show you that the um, old fashioned um, canner, I'm gonna restore this. So I will stop my video and for now to let you know that my peaches are all done and not going to be canning any more of those. Not going to be canning any more beans. May do a video on tomatoes because I do like the stewed tomatoes. Um, but when I come back on to show you this, I think you're going to be surprised how well this is going to clean up and everything's going to work and be fine with it. But it's a beautiful, beautiful Sunday afternoon and I've got 101 things I want to get done today. I hope I get a few of them done. And I just wanted to kind of pop on and say hi and say, you know, if you're out at a yard sale, a state sale, whatever it is, a thrift store, a consignment store, wherever you're at and you find little treasures, don't hesitate. Pick them up, take them home, wash them, clean them all up, and you'll be really pleased that you did because it's quite a little find. You don't find these in the stores anymore. And... Um, I'll put this to use it if I even make a jello salad, you know, of a mold and put in here. That'll be great too, whatever I want. But at least I have it. 
And uh, so I just wanted to kind of share that with you this morning that I did go back and get my little vintage pressure cooker and hopefully I can restore it to its original condition or real close and enjoy it for years to come. From my kitchen to yours, you never know what I'm going to do in my kitchen. Have a great Sunday. Bye-bye now.